Hey everybody, this is Bridget Lynn Dolgoff, Conscious of Economics, Urban Farm Project, and the Ministry of Consciousness. Anyway, today is water practice number two. Super easy practice, gonna just take a couple minutes. Couple things to think about. You can use a dry creek river uh, stream bed as long as it's had water that's flowed through it. Uh, recently works the best. You can recall a memory from being in water and using that um, to do this work. And otherwise, it's good to stand in a stream creek riverbed up to your ankles. The cooler the water, the better. So we're going to be standing in the water up to our ankles. And we're going to bring everything around us, all the energies, past, present, and future. We're going to bring it all back into our center, into our body. Just going to pull it out from top to bottom. Pull from the back, front, sides. Just pull everything right now into this moment, right into the here and now. And you're standing in your, your waterway up to your ankles. Just take a couple minutes and just do some deep breathing while you're standing in it. And right now you can imagine yourself standing in a creek bed or waterway. So just take a couple minutes. What does it feel like? It feels nice and cool. What's the bottom feel like? Move your toes around. It's better to do this barefoot. Take in some deep breaths. So now I'm just going to imagine, or you're going to imagine, that you have all this negative energy in your body. You're going to, don't have to pinpoint where all the negative energy is. I just know that I have negative energy. It was a tough morning. This happened, that happened. I was, you know, we're going to let all that stuff go. So we're going to notice which way the waterway is running away from downstream and we're going to turn our body and our face towards the downstream we want our toes pointing towards downstream we're going to take in a couple more deep breaths and we're just going to turn around point towards the downstream we're feeling our bodies we're touching the earth underneath the water we're getting in tune with the water we're going to use this water experience as a way to let go and transmute energies that no longer work for us into something positive and because the stream is moving it will take these energies and undulate them and oxygenate them and transform them This is why we should never pee in water. We shouldn't even really be peeing in a toilet, actually, spiritually. But that's a whole other story. So we're taking deep breaths. We're pointing downstream. Or, you know, we're no higher than above the knee in the water. We're feeling our body. We may rock back and forth, feeling the tension, all the, you know, energies that we don't want, that we want to transmute, may have physical pain we want to release, mental pain, emotional pain, whatever is coming up, just kind of feel it. Oh, here's, here's your dog that helps you do the spiritual work, helping you, helping you to clear the energies, playing bringing the water a lot of joy and happiness. I think dogs bring a lot of joy and happiness. Okay, so now we're gonna imagine like a plunger, you know, like a coffee press, but we're the, we're the container. We're gonna imagine a spiritual plunger on top and it's gonna be pushed. We're gonna allow the spirit world to push the top of the plunger down. And as the plunger goes through us, 
screens through us, filters through us, it's pushing the energies that we need to transmute down towards our feet and out of the water, out into the water. And they're gonna be carried downstream to be agitated and um, flowed and changed and transformed into giving, life-giving water. And it's gonna help us to flow better with everything instead of being stuck and solid. So go ahead and imagine that plunger and the screen on it and it's filtering through us and our body and it's pushing all the physical pain out through our feet. It's pushing out all the mental trauma, frustration, anger. If you have peace to give, you're in a good space, you can plunge some of that into the water as well. I'm in a good space, I'm feeling great, I have joy, I have prosperity right now. I'm going to plunge some of that back into the water as well. This is shamanism, dark and good, light, bad. We use it all, transforming it all, giving it all. So we're going to imagine that plunger continuing to go down through our bodies, through our energy fields, being plunged through, being filtered out. There's a screen on the bottom of the plunger, just like a French press. Just like a French press. Just like a French press. And then we're just going to plunge it all the way down. And then we're just going to imagine that the French press pushes it all the way out. It's thicker sometimes towards our ankles and lower legs and feet. We're just going to imagine that it pushes it all the way down and out, all of it through our toes, the bottom of our feet, out into the water. And we're just going to sit. You may notice like there's a lot of tension gone and a lot of fatigue and stress and anxiety. Taking some deep breaths. Just kind of move your hips around. Feel that clean energy field. And then when you're ready, climb out. And don't forget to give the water a tobacco prayer. Hold the tobacco, loose tobacco. Make sure it's organic in your hands. Good to hold it in your left hand where your heart is. Put your right hand over it. Thank it. Just thank the tobacco. Thank it. Thank the water. Put the tobacco up to your heart. Put the tobacco up to your forehead and your mind. And then go ahead and gently sprinkle it into the water. All right. That's Bridget Lynn Dolgoff. That's water practice number two. Conscious of Economics, Urban Farm Project YouTube channel and the Ministry of Consciousness. Thank you so much. You'll be able to find these videos with a link on the bottom that'll take you to the practices page, the practice page on the ministry's website. And hopefully soon I'll have this one up, uh, two fires, two earth and two air practices, just to help the average person um, kind of figure out what to do and how to do it and um, learn how to work with what's around you. Basic shamanism work. This is basic. All my relations becoming relation, having a relationship to the things around us. Anyway, have a great day. Blessings. All my relations. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.